we're in my upstairs closet right now and I'm showing you this attic access uh, panel that we've had in our house since we've moved in. Um, it's been open maybe, I don't know, five or six times. Uh, the first time was to have cable installed. The second time was to have insulation installed. The third time was when there was a leak in the roof. Fourth time was when we had problems with the cable. And fifth time was when the, we had the cable switched over to fiber and it's been removed so many times, but you can't, you can't see more. I might have a picture. I'll throw it up on the screen if I can, if I can find it. Um, the, the edges of the drywall on this panel are basically falling apart and it was almost impossible to screw back into the two by fours. Um, so I made this panel to screw it back in the two by fours and uh this one was kind of i don't know just thrown together and we have an equivalent one over here so here's the other attic access for the other side of the uh, eaves of the house and this one was also done when we had the insulation installed it's only been removed once and it hasn't been removed again since uh, but in the event that it does need to be removed again I like to prevent the same problems from happening as the one on the other side that you just saw. And I'm just gonna do a basic uh, one by four around the perimeter. And I mean, you could get fancy and do some miter corners and actually use some trim, um, like this attic access panel that was also installed when we had the insulation done. Um, but if this is just gonna be something to keep the drywall from falling apart. so. You can take it on and off if you need to. First thing we're gonna do is remove these four screws so I can take the panel off and bring it downstairs. And the biggest difference between this panel and the other one is for some reason when they cut it, uh, they cut it below this piece of trim right here. So you actually have to slide it in behind the trim. Um, I don't know if they cut the panel before the trim was installed when the upstairs was finished, um, but this one should be a little bit easier. Now we just have to hope that there's nothing living in here that will jump out. All right, so I forgot to fill these two cuts, but we're just gonna measure and then cut the bottom and top pieces. We're just, we're just gonna use some pocket holes to secure the frame together. Now I want to screw in the drywall from the back side so no one's tempted to remove those screws and accidentally undoes all this work. Um, the drywall screws are a little bit too uh, long so I'm going to use these one inch lath screws and the original holes um, that washer head should hold it on there. In case you're curious, here's the panel before it goes on the wall with everything screwed together. And let's go attach it to the wall. 
right, nothing jumped out the first time. It's hopefully nothing's in there now. I would hear them banging around in my office, but I don't never hear anything. Should be good. All right, there you go, a framed out attic access panel.